What's going on, family? Super excited news. I got a big surprise today. Uh, I'm accomplishing one of my dreams. Like, if you look right here at the screen, back in high school, I think I was a junior or a senior, we had a, a class and they asked us to make a poster of like a business or something we wanted to do in the future. And something that's always been a passion of mine because I know it creates the most millionaires is real estate. So if you see this sign right here, Tim's Real Great Real Estate, I think it was called. Look at the screen right there. I've always wanted to get into real estate. And today, I'm actually closing on my first investment property. So this is something huge for me. Like none of my immediate family own real estate. So this is, this is super, super duper big. I'm doing it with uh, two friends of mine. So we're gonna be investing together out here in Detroit. Getting this property for $5,000, which is crazy to think about. Like people will spend $5,000 on clothes, shoes, stuff that does not have any value, honestly, that is a liability. So this is definitely a huge, huge, huge asset. Uh, as you know, Detroit is up and coming for sure. So it's a great investment. We're gonna be, we have a team of guys who are gonna really, who are going to rehab the property, knock it out in 60 to 90 days. Super excited for that. We don't have to do anything, honestly. We just put the money up. And the best part about it is, I'm turning credit into cash to invest into this real estate. It's amazing. Like, honestly, as long as you got good credit, you can do anything. So, like, if you're watching this and I want to be like motivation for you. I want to tell you, hey, if you fix your credit, you can go get business credit, 0% interest business credit for 12 to 18 months. So essentially, what I'm going to do is, I bought this, this property with a credit card, right? Buying this property for $5,000, put $20,000, $25,000 into it. We're either going to sell it or we'll just rent it out and make $1,400 plus a month. I can honestly, after putting a renting in there, putting putting a renter in there, refinance the property, get 75% of the total value back, use that to go invest into another property. Or we just sell the property, pay back the credit card, never pay interest on it, flip it, and move on and keep doing this, keep building from there. Honestly, my goal this year is to get at least three properties. So this first one, I'm gonna learn as much as possible uh, with my business partners, friends. After that, I'm gonna get my own, get my own again, get my own again, get my own again, and just build an empire. Like this is this is definitely the goal. Turning credit into cash. So if you're somebody watching this video, you have great credit and you wanna invest into real estate or whatever the case may be, book a free consultation. I can get you personal, I can get you either personal or business funding so you can invest into income producing assets like real estate. Or if you're someone watching this video and you have a poor credit score, you're like a lot of people, you don't know where to begin and you just want to repair your credit so you can begin to do things like this, book a free consultation as well. I can help you guys out. My team and I will get these negative items removed for you so you can start to make money and have good credit. Honestly, having poor credit, it costs way more money having bad credit than it does to repair the credit. So if you're watching this, I just want to give you motivation. I'm super excited. I'm on my way to the bank right now to throw some more money in there for the deal. So I can wire them the money or I may do a cashier check, whatever's cheapest. Honestly, I'm cheap. So we just need the money for as much money as possible towards the deal. So just follow me along. Thank you guys so much for following me through the journey. I'm gonna show you guys all progress made for this property. So just stay tuned and continue to watch the video. Stay to the end so I can show you the uh, property as well. All right, made it to the bank. Got to deposit this, the rest of this money, and then I have to wire the money or get a cashier's check. Like I said, whatever's cheaper, that's what we're gonna go with because I'm cheap. <laughs> cheap as hell. Let me see. So that's the bank we at, PNC. Go ahead. Don't run me over, lady. I ain't never done no wires, so this is gonna be a first for me. Well, that's what we decided to do. So, see you to stay tuned. All right, so I was in there a little bit too long. Now I'm running late. Ah, it says I'm, I'm supposed to get there at 401. I mean, depends on how I drive. Might speed a little bit, but. So if anybody wondering, 
it's actually cheaper to get a cashier's check than it is a wire cashier's check was she said ten dollars but since it took her too long she waived the fee so hey we saved ten dollars that's more to go towards the deal and a wire was forty dollars so thirty dollar difference so if anybody's ever wondering get a cashier's check over a wire wire is more instant but let them figure all that out <laughs> we're here to save money so on the way to the title company close the deal sign that paperwork and get to work all right we made it here got the family with me papacito look at my handsome boy my handsome superstar hmm? that's my twin right there that's the reason he's the reason that for the season so we walking into the title company Hey, it's cold out here in Michigan. If y'all didn't know, what is it like 10 degrees today? Super duper cold. So hopefully you're somewhere where it's a lot warmer than what's going on out here because this is real, real bad. We had to park in this parking garage. Of course, that $10 that I saved on a cashier's check, I got to pay for parking, unfortunately. But we'll get it back. We'll get it back. walk over here let's get it all right we made it in almost froze to death yeah. I got a first American title it's good and nice Try this again. Walking back to the house. Got the door on. Took the other door out. Put this door on. Make sure this key works. Oh, he need to tighten this up, man. This ain't. This ain't tight enough. <laughs> you go first. Alright. Huh? Coming down here? You coming down here? Yeah. Turn your flashlight on. Alright. Yeah, alright. <laughs> What's that? Ooh. Just scared me. It's the basement. Go in front of me so I can mm -hmm. go like walk next to me so you can see. There ain't no part on, but it's not bad. It's not too bad. It's the basement. It's not, it's not too bad. Ah, right, come on. It's not too bad down here. Yeah, it is. Kitchen. These are all gonna have to get knocked down. It's 
living room decent. There's another front door. Wall right there. First bedroom. This bedroom's small. Closet's super duper small. Cracks in. Bathroom. This tub is terrible. Second bedroom. This bedroom bigger. Huh? This upstairs? You gotta do, bro. Upstairs. Yep. Yep. It's a leak. So that roof. It's decent up here, though. This little room right here. A little attic. Huh? The window's open. Yeah. Close. Yeah, look, it's definitely need a roof. Look, you can see outside. You hear me? Huh? You can see outside right here. Yeah. Yep, right there. A little closet. But yeah, it's definitely needs a roof because it's leaking all right here. Then right there. So we definitely need a roof. Dang near, that needs to be dang near the first thing. What's that in there? Let me see. Huh? Put the light on. Like a little kid, little kid playroom? Uh, crawl, yeah. <laughs> a crawl space. But yeah, we gotta get to work. That roof is, is most important because we don't want it to keep leaking through. So, yeah, it's a lot of work. So y'all gonna have to just stay tuned through the process because this is gonna be a grind. We want to get done within 90 days. We just got that door on there. Now it's time to turn in permits and all that and get to work. But just a little word of motivation, uh, words of encouragement for everybody, man. Listen, you can do anything you put your mind to. As you've seen at the beginning of this video, I had a goal of mine to get into real estate since I was in high school. None of my immediate family, my mom don't own real estate, uh, dad doesn't own real estate, brothers, sisters, none of them really own real estate. So this is, chances make champions. Uh, what is it they say? It, it takes one risk taker to be a millionaire in your family and it starts with me and it can start with you as well. So just stick with what you're going after, chase your dreams, continue to follow them and just keep putting in the work. Stay tuned throughout the process. And as always, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you guys.